with you. It is your boy, David. And look, y'all, it is time to talk about the shooting on NBA 2K25. Now, here's my rant and all of this stuff. Um, but before we get to anything, I appreciate y'all for love and support. Y'all going crazy on the videos. Um, like I told you, we was going to talk about the shooting today, okay? So, look, we got three tweets we need to read, and we're going to get into how we feel about this entire thing, right? So we have a tweet from Cardi, right? He says, I shouldn't have to dribble with my right stick, quick stop with my right stick, then shoot with my right stick to have a chance at making a shot at Baluba, a.k.a. Mike Wayne. All because you guys can't figure out an anti-Zen slash Titan cheat system for NBA to get 25. Like what? Question mark, right? Now, here's why, in my opinion, I feel like uh, Zens will be way more dangerous. And um, we're going to get to that after we read the second tweet. And then we had a second tweet, right? This time from Jai Bridgeworth. Shout out to Jai Bridgeworth. Um, you know, he'd be on Twitter with the 2K news and things like that. Um, keep people updated. He's like see the world of 2K community on Twitter, right? He says, no pure green window, NBA 2K Lab, doing a video on it soon, but we can't seem to find one, right? Then you see uh, right after Boom's tweet, she says, so did NBA 2K Lab actually confirm there isn't a pure green window in NBA 2K25, or was that just a rumor? And then you saw 2K Lab tweet out, doing a video on it soon, but we can't seem to find one. This is on Hall of Fame with only bronze badges, though without a jump shot boost. So if the 2K Labs... You know, they can't find a pure green window in a green or miss game. That's not a good sign, right? Okay, we have another one. Now, this one's kind of hard to see, um, but this one's from uh, Badge Hook, a.k.a. Wash. I'm going to read it for y'all. He says, he says, if NBA 2K25 has RNG in this shooting, then that is a problem. Random number generator. Long story short, with a 99 three-point wide open and a lethal off-legend dimer and perfect timing, you'll still miss like one through three shots out of ten. You should never be penalized for perfectly timing your shot, especially with a high rating. My solution, if Mike Wayne really wants to have a lower shooting percentage than previously years, that's fine, I guess. But the better way is no RNG and a smaller green window. Will people be able to cheat better? Probably, but they already are. And that's legit. Players need to stop being penalized for it. Shout out to Badge Plug, ladies and gentlemen. Shout out to Wadge Plug. Because everything that you just saw me read off, even if I made a mistake, you know what I'm saying, I'm human, it's going to happen. This is exactly how I feel about the shooting, okay? Now, let's get to it. And again, shout out to uh, John Bridgewater, shout out to Boom, 2K Lab, shout out to Acar, you know, shout out to them, make sure y'all go support them on their platforms, things like that, just give them their credit for the tweets, things like that, right? Because, this, you know, they tweeted that stuff, I didn't tweet it, I just, you know, I'm showing y'all what they tweeted, right? Let's get to it. I'm going to tell how I feel about this, okay? This started off, okay? Now, 2K. See, and this is stuff that I've been saying for weeks and months, right? Before we do anything, like I said, I'm going to shout out to y'all for the support once again. And y'all going to see how I feel about this, obviously, right now. Um, what 2K has to understand is the players in this community, okay? There is, it's unacceptable. Like how Badge Plug just said that if a player is greening their shot, right? And you are making them miss when they're timing their shot. That's unacceptable, bro. That that that's that's not fair, especially if the game is only green or miss. Now, yes, I understand that there's you know, Jay, you can hit white so there's a low risk, okay? But of a player, as you can see in these clips that I was playing my day one, by the way, too, right? All all dubs, no L's is my day one, okay? My boy Cam, you know what I'm saying? Make sure I go shot my boy one one way, by the way, to so try to get him to what 800 subs. I think he's had like 700 shot them. Like I see, me and him started playing 2K together before we was even on PS4. It was back. This is PS3, okay? And he's the reason why y'all see me playing 25 right now, right? Anyways, let's get to it. You cannot make a player, okay? And, and I'm gonna say this by the way too. A lot of y'all gonna be in the comments saying, "Oh, the community is always crying, bro. Nobody's crying, bro." You see, I'm going to show y'all in these highlights, or not even highlights, but just clips to where I was, what, five, three points, right? Even in the wreck with Cody, I'm not putting up no points, but I, I found a way to adjust to it, right? But my whole point is this, because I'll I be seeing that in the comments like, oh, the community always complain about shoot. Bro, if that is the case, if 2K is making players miss and they know their shot, how can you say that's complaining? That's unacceptable, bro. See what I'm saying? Because I'll be seeing that all over the community. Oh, the y'all steady crying. Just adjust. Bro, you're not listening. Okay? 
what people are saying is one, there's no pure green window. Okay, 2K Labs, a very a very reliable source, is saying they cannot find a pure green window. What does that tell you? And I'm also, you know, get to talk about these Zens because I'm going to go, okay, what you said that you also feel like Zens are going to be more dangerous. Explain that. Want me to explain it? Because how many times did I tell y'all when 2K is going to make the game more difficult to play? Guess what that means? You think the community, see, this one, I'm, this is why I said the, the 2K, the people, the devs, things like that, they don't understand their community. When you make the game harder to play, guess what? Now, guess what? If you can't beat them, join them, right? And if you guys flat out think right now, because it's only been, what, one week that, oh, but I mean, I mean, the sins, I ain't seen not one. Bro, it's the first week, dog. If you think out of your mind that people are not in them discords and, and you know, getting them scripts for a Zen, okay? And yes, I was using a shot meter. It was the first week, okay? We understand how difficult shooting was. Yes, I was shooting with a shot meter, okay? So, I mean, I'm, right now, I'm not shooting with a meter, okay? I find ways to adjust. But that's the type of player. I'm a player to where I find ways to adjust. But if you truly out your mind think that people are not going to find a way to Zen, just like how Badge Plug said, are people going to cheat this? Yes, they are. They've been doing it. They're going to do it regardless. So what I want to know is, why are you making people miss? I know, I mean, I kind of, I figure, but it's not fair. You see what I'm saying? So basically, 2K, if you're new to the 2K community, and I'm going to explain this because a lot of y'all be confused. Like, okay, I mean, talk about all of the multiple shot timings, Jay. You know, that's that's for why I got all these timings. You want to know why they put all of those timings? And I think that this is 2K23. They put all of the shot timings in the game because they were trying to prevent Zens. But what 2K has to understand is it's almost like, and this could be a terrible analogy, right? And I'm going to be going all over this, but I'm trying to explain it the best way I can explain it to y'all, right? If you have, you know, like you see a beware, do not cross this sign because there's like a dog or something like that. What 2K is basically doing is, you know, because, you know, you was a kid, right? That dog used to be afraid of that dog, right? Meaning, you know, they had no answer for a Zen, right? So you, you're not worried about it. You're going to add these shot times thinking, man, we're not worried about them Zens. We're not worried about them small dogs more. We good, right? And what the Zen people did, you know, they, oh, we're going to get a bigger dog. You see what I'm saying? Now that you're older now, we just going to get a bigger dog that's, look like, that's more scarier. And then what? You see what I'm saying? To where it don't phase them. You can add the shot timings in the game. People are still going to cheat. That's why I said, why make the game harder to play, bro? And trust me, I'm not complaining. You guys can see. Look, you see, in these clips, I've been shooting the ball with Cody. And he's not even a 90 overall, right? When, I don't even got hot spots, things, things like that. You see what I'm saying? So you got to understand that, right? But what I don't like is when 2K, like Batchbook said, they're going to punish everybody else because you got people that are going to cheat. They're going to cheat regardless, bro. See what I'm saying? It's almost like crimes. No matter how many times you lock somebody up, bro, they're going to do stupid stuff. You see what I'm saying? That doesn't mean, oh, because he did it. Not all of y'all. You see what I'm saying? Oh, that one person want to do it. Everybody going to jail. You see what I'm saying? That's unfair. But that's how this is now. To where if somebody's sitting, they're going to make the game, you know, tougher to play because that person wants to cheat, bro. They're going to cheat regardless. Now, the green window, like I said, that's unacceptable, bro. Listen, I don't know how y'all been hitting whites. I done tried low risk one time. Didn't work. You see what I'm saying? So where I cannot play on low risk, I high risk, I just find a way just, you know, figure it out. See what I'm saying? Like in these clips, look, one game you have 16 to 16 points. The next thing you have five to seven points. OK, one thing I know about me, I don't really care about points. I care about winning games. So when I was playing my day, when you see he's getting rebounds, right, I didn't care about how many points I had. I was just trying to figure out, you know, the movement and how the game is. You see what I'm saying? Because everybody's right now saying, you know, Everybody's complaining, right? I don't really care what people do. If 2K touch the game, listen, I'm gonna tell you right now what the problem is, bro. And see, this is what y'all gotta understand. If 2K would have just put defense in the games to where leave defense alone. You see what I'm saying? Think about it. Like I said, people are going to cheat regardless, 2K. You got to know your community. Like I said, we have the worst gaming community in the history of gaming. This community is so terrible, and I've said this before, but a lot of you need to channel, so I'm gonna say it again, right? Imagine an old lady, right? She's blind. She dropped her purse full of money, right? This community, we the type of people to where we going to see that, take the money and run off instead of just giving her the money back. You see what I'm saying? That's the type of community we are. We are just flat out. 
you know, you can't even compare that. That's just stupid, bro. You see what I'm saying? To where now, oh, they got you on camera. Wasn't you at that, you know, we caught you at this place right here, you know, old lady, she dropped her money, you picked it up. Wasn't that you right there? That wasn't me. So it was you. They got you in 8K. You see what I'm saying? But that's the kind of community we are. We do dumb stuff. But this is what I'm saying. The devs, that's why I wanted the dev team to play their game, right? If you play your game, the more you play, the more you get to know your community. Don't know your community based on when you go live and they tweet out or this and this is about Twitch or you they trying to get a logo. That's not knowing the community. When you play your product, you'll get to know your community, bro. Badge plug is spot on what he said, bro. He's spot on what he said, right? And again, I'm showing y'all when Cody shot 0%. I'm showing y'all when he shot 60%. It don't matter to me. See what I'm saying? Well, it do matter. But, like, my whole point is we were shooting the ball. It didn't matter. You see what I'm saying? But 2K, y'all have got to. And that's why I said two days ago in my other video, I said, bro, the problem with shooting is the consistent thing, right? One game, you can hit threes. The next thing, you can't. And some of y'all will say, nah, you just complaining. Listen, dog, understand this. When you have a player that's trying to understand and figure out a game or a brand new game and – they have a solid performance to where they're going to want to play the next game and you are making that player miss. Do you realize how frustrating that is for somebody to where your team is going to try be like, oh, this guy can't shoot, right? But the entire time you can. It's 2K. They have it to where because people wanted to cheat, they're going to make you miss whether you time it or not. And it's funny to me because you're like, bro, nah, F all of that. You know, just go to the uh, go to the, your, your my court and lab up. Y'all just scared to do that. My nigga, let me explain something to you. And again, I ain't going to do all of that. But this is what y'all got to understand, bro. This is what I'm talking about. What you see on YouTube don't mean everything is re right. You see what I'm saying? You can see, oh, you go to the my court. That make you shoot. But no, because in my court, you're not lagging in my court. You see what I'm saying? You can shoot 20 greens in my court. And go right out to where there's the park, the proven grounds, the rent. And you still gonna be missing wide open, bro. I don't care how like right here, Bill with Jay, what you shooting right now with Cody? And Cody's shooting with a 75 three ball. And these comes are looking at Cody is shooting with a 75 three ball. Okay. Just want to make get that out there, right? To where, like I said, you go online, it's a different experience, bro. And right now, Cody's shooting 52% from the three-point line inside the rec. And inside the park, he's shooting 40% from the three-point line. Yes, I know that's really solid numbers for this game. But can he do better? Of course. But when 2K has people missing, or like somebody... Now, I'm going to say this again. Because I didn't say this before. You got players out there to where, you know, they're not timing their shot. To where, of course, you're going to miss. Right? Okay, they... Yes, they should be missing. They should not be able to hit a white. Right? Because if the game is going to be like that, okay, they shouldn't be able to hit whites. Now, yes, but Jay, I thought you said bring back. Yeah, I mean, at this point, you might as well. I said you might as well just bring whites back in the game because we're going to cheat, right? They're going to cheat regardless, and guess what? It's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? But, like, my whole point is this. Y'all got to understand the community that you are a part of, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got to understand that before anything. Um, and as of right now, um, I'm not going to say the, game, the game's playable, it's just not something you would want to, you know, I don't see how people can hawk this game, okay? I just don't see it. it. It's too many inconsistent to where you can be like, dog, I just hit those shots last game. You see what I'm saying? Like, look, you see Cody, look, six points. He's shooting under the three-point line, right? I know he got a 75 three ball, right? But clearly, if you see any of these clips, then look, you can see he's comfortable, right? You know, he's taking the right shots, right? And yes, if you need to just I give my my player names, bro. I do that. I make the game interesting, okay? I had, you know what I'm saying? I give them my players' names. But you cannot, if somebody is timing their shot, okay, they know their jumper, they're shooting 40%, 50% from the three-point line, that player knows their jump shot. You can't, I mean, I was, if a player's shooting 22%, okay, yeah, they, they don't know their jump shot like that. You see what I'm saying? But when you got a player shooting 51, 52, 40% from the three-point line, those are solid, efficient numbers to where there's no excuse to someone's going to sit there and say, oh, now nah, you don't know your shot. That's false information, right? Now, I'm not saying, because you're going to say, okay, well, how do they fix this? I'm not saying boost shooting, because they boost shooting, it's going to break the game like I did last year. Well, Jay, what do you mean by breaking the game? Last year, we had a similar thing, right? But last year, it wasn't as tough because the movement on 2K24 wasn't this slow. You see what I'm saying? It wasn't quick. But it wasn't like this slow to where 
You can barely move on NBA 2K25, okay? It's just plain and simple like that. It, and the game just feels super slow, right? Last year, and I, the, the streams are still on my YouTube channel. I was like, dog, one thing about me, I was like, I'm going to figure out why I'm, I'm, I'm missing shots, right? I got back on the live stream. Y'all saw me shooting, and I was like, chat, that's green. You want to know how I know that's green? Because I know my shot. You see what I'm saying? I can tell y'all it was green before I released it because I knew my shot. Right to where I done figured it out. When 2K boosted the shooting and up made it to where it's too easy to shoot, that's why you had the 6 8 meta stuff happen. Because, oh, what's the point of making a seven footer when I can make this 6 8 big, which is not easy to play on, by the way? When I can make a 6 8 big, just give him shooting. Now he's more faster and athletic than the seven footer. That's why that happened because you had everybody being able to shoot the basketball. But they cannot do this on 25 because if they do, it's going to be the same thing, bro. See what I'm saying? What they have to do is there's got to be a green window, okay? That's my rant on this. There has got to be a green window, okay? You're not going to tell me otherwise, bro. Don't sit. And by the way, y'all got to. I've been seeing a lot of y'all on Twitter. Uh, sounds like you complain. I decided to get to. I hit uh, three threes. Dog, that's one game. Show all of your games. See, that's the thing about a lot of people when they make when they make sure they highlights and whatnot, right? They only show when they made the shot. They don't show when they went one for seven, two for nine. You see what I'm saying? They don't show that. I'm showing y'all when I had zero points with Cody and he wasn't doing anything. See what I'm saying? I'm showing y'all everything. You see what I'm saying? But we have to understand, no, the two the 2K devs has to understand their community, bro. They have to. They have to. Do, do not boost shooting. There just needs to be a green window. If you have a green window, there should be more consistency because guess what? If players know their jump shots, the shots will fall in, bro. You see what I'm saying? That's how that is, okay? You should not be making everybody suffer because somebody over here wants to zen when they're going to zen regardless. Like I said, it's like a person that, that does dumb stuff. You arrest them, they're going to do it again. They're going to keep doing stupid stuff. It's unfortunate, right? Of course, you know, people not, you know, a fan of the zen. Who is? People are cheating. I mean, how does that make gaming fun? But guess what? If you can't beat them, join them. And that's what that's what people are going to start doing. If 2K keeps this how it is, if they don't have a, a pure green window, you are going to see just nothing but zenner after zenner. Well, Jay, it's only in the wreck, and it's only a lot in the park. That's about it. My brothers and sisters, what did I tell you was one of the most, you know, modes that people play in this game? And you guys know the answers. It's the wreck and the park. So if you think out of your mind, people, matter of fact, people are zenning right now. Y'all just don't know who they are because they're not content creators. They don't post it. You see what I'm saying? But they cheating. They got a device plugged up. <laughs> they zenning like it's no tomorrow, and they got some of y'all food. Yes, you can miss with a zen, by the way. Okay? Don't think a zenner can't miss. They can miss. They, just have, they still cheating, bro. You see what I'm saying? But that's what I'm saying. Y'all just got to understand, bro. Um, I, I'm just tired of seeing that, like, Oh, sounds like a personal problem to me because I had I just had, you know, 20 points and I hit five threes. Show your next game after that one then. But you won't do that. See what I'm saying? You won't do that. Right? It's like, get out of here, bro. The problem with the, the 2K25 and the shooting is there's no green window. And like I said before, that's unacceptable. Okay? You cannot do that. When you make a game that's already slowed down and it's more tougher to play. Bro, people are already irritated. You see what I'm saying? It, remember last year when I told y'all? A matter of fact, it was a couple months ago, and I showed y'all. I told, I read y'all the, the the comments from TikTok. People that were zenning. You look in the comments. I just ordered mine this morning. Like, bro, it's terrible. And it's gonna be the same if they if they keep doing what they're doing. There's no green. You're gonna see a lot of that, right? Because guess what? They gonna do it regardless. So 2K. I get that you tried to add shot timings. Did you not learn 2K23? Did you not learn in 2K24, right? Because this is where I think we, we went wrong at. When 2K kept bringing back these shot timings, if you know what I'm talking about, the top of the key, the hash, the left corner, the right corner, all of those spots on the court have a different timing, okay? So you it's not you're shooting off of muscle memory. Last year you were because they boosted the shooting, you know, you know, completely boosted it to where... Last year, you could shoot with muscle memory to where you didn't have to worry about the timing. As long as you have muscle memory last year, you could shoot it, right? This year, you actually have to, 
you know, take the right shot and actually time it. But if you time it, it you still could potentially miss it, right? But I was never a fan of shot timings, bro. I was never a fan of it. Because you got to, like I said, the community, they're going to look at it like that. Man, this game too hard to play. How much is in cost? Man, I'm about to look to cop me one of those. Like, I'm over here sweating, frustrated, trying to figure out why am I missing when you got old buddy over here. He's cheating. And he's, he's not get, getting in trouble for it. You see what I'm saying? He can cheat while I'm over here frustrated, bro. That's not it. You see what I'm saying? But that's the kind of community we have. And the devs, they got to know that. You can, They got to know that. You think a person want to get on the game, they they just want to, you know, hoop, do they, and just hoop and play ball, and you got them missing, knowing they time and they shot right. Now, I'm not going to lie. I done seen some of y'all in, in that wreck, that goddamn wreck. Y'all been, even in proof, y'all be taking the most dumbest shots I could ever think of, bro. It's like, what are you thinking? You see what I'm saying? I don't know what some of y'all be doing out there, bro, but that that's really, I just, 2K, don't, don't boost the shooting. Just put a green one doing the game, bro. Put a green window in the game. And, and by the way, don't do it by jumps. Do not do that. See, because I'm going to tell you right now, I didn't, see, I didn't see something on Twitter. Oh, this base shit. Bro, you added 9,000. How many animations you added into the game? There needs All of those animations you added need to have the, just the same amount as, you know, accurate as the other ones, bro. I don't want to see, oh, this is the one you got to use because that one don't work. Y'all added 9,000. There's no excuse. Okay, zero. Jay, you have five points. It's, and guess what? Guess what? I'm still shooting the ball. I don't care if I had zero points, bro. I'm going to shoot the ball if Cody's open, okay? Plain and simple, right? And that's the problem with somebody on the break. Y'all worry about points, bro. Y'all worried about, oh, how many points you got? So I, I'm playing the game the other day. You talk about some, yeah, we winning, but I only got seven points. Who gives a fuck? You won the game. Like, this is the problem. But when it comes to the shooting, bro, and I'm tired of talking in circles, bro, but y'all just got to understand that. There's no green window, bro. There is none. And there's no green window. People are going to zen. They're going to want to cheat, okay? It's almost like a person doing plagiarism on a test, and the teacher don't care. So the teacher don't care because they, they, don't, they don't find out who's – if she said, okay, who right now, who's cheating? Nobody don't say nothing. Okay, fine. I'm done, right? To where she just walk out the room. Guess what? Oh, she she don't care who was cheating. I'm about to cheat. That's how it's going to be with this shooting, bro. Everybody going to be zenning. And the game going to be deep fried as it almost already is, bro. Right? Now, like I said, man, um, let me know y'all in this comment section. Um, Like I said, I feel like 2K, they, they got to know, man. They got to know. They got to know. And again, listen to what I said. I did not say buff the shooting. I said add a green window to matter of fact, the game should never been released if there was no green window to begin with. Can we talk about that? Why would y'all release a basketball game with no green window? I don't understand. Like, why would y'all do that? I, I don't get that. But you got people making whites. Now, my thoughts on that, because I had somebody DM me about that saying, I've been playing against people who've been making just straight whites. They got to get rid of it. Like I told y'all, man, if they had a green window in the game, this is really how it should be. If you're shooting with high risk, your green window should go up. If you're shooting with low risk, your green window should be really, you know, in the between. That's how I look at it. Because if you're relying to hitting on whites, then you're really not looking to green a shot, bro. If you're shooting on low risk, and say I got to stop this capping, bro. Y'all be talking about some old, I, I, I'm not shooting on the risk, bro. It literally tells you if you're shooting on low risk or not. you If somebody greens a shot, then nine times out of ten, they're probably shooting on higher risk. If you see whites go in, they're shooting on low risk, bro. It's not hard to figure. Y'all be sitting there and say, bro, nah, you ain't going to tell. Bro, it tells you. Stop the cap. It's been a week. You're not going to shoot 90%. <laughs> I would hope not. If you, if, it, if you shoot 90%, then there's something we don't know about with you. You see what I'm saying? But like I said, man, there's just got to be – it should be like this. If you're shooting on low risk, your green window should be small, very small, because that means you want to hit whites. If you're shooting on high risk, your green window should rise, bro. Rise, okay? And for somebody that has – somebody with a build like Cody to where – Cody's build right now is at a 75 three ball. It goes to a 77. You guys clearly can see he can shoot with that, right? But it's like, okay, the consistency is an issue, though. 
and that's where we're at with this talk right now is can you go four games to where even if you're wide open, you taking the right shots, are you going to continuously going to hit those shots that you just made previous games? Or is 2K going to continuously make you miss those shots knowing the last game you made those exact same shots you shot, right? Prior to the game, you were just in and out, right? And those are the things you shouldn't even have to ask about because it's they should know better. They should know better. I don't know what else to say, y'all. I mean, it's like we shouldn't have to talk about this, but people kept asking me, like, you know, can you talk about this shooting and how you feel about it? I, I just feel like there needs to be a higher green window. That's what I feel like. The reason why I don't want you can be okay, why not buff the shooting, Jay? If you want to ask me that, because I'm probably gonna somebody's gonna probably ask you that regardless. You buff the shooting, you're going to break the game, okay? You don't want everybody being able to shoot lights out, bro, right? Especially when these guys are really not even average shooters, bro. I mean, if you buff the shooting, you're going to have the same thing you saw last year, right? Why do you think there's so many inside bigs right now, bro? Because people are scared to shoot the ball. If they buff shooting, you're not going to see insides. You're going to see a lot of small center builds. You're going to see a lot of six, 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 seven centers, right? Because they're faster. And now that they buff the shooting, right, they can shoot lights out all of a sudden, bro. To where a seven footer, right? It's not going to be as you know dangerous because they made shooting too easy again, right? So understand that, right? They just got to have a green one, and that's all that is to it. Um, as of right now, I'm about to read some of these comments and see what people are saying on on Twitter. And I know there was a Twitter space um about the you know shooting that I wasn't in. I saw Jai did it. When he was doing it, I think I was busy doing something. I was either, you know, making a video or doing something, so I wasn't able to be a part of that. But um, I know I seen, I think Mike Wing was in there, you know, I think it was about a four-hour, you know, uh, space. Jai didn't host it. He was the co-host. Shout out to him. Um, I don't know who was the host of it, but, uh, yeah, I know if y'all wanted me to do a video on that, we can cover that as well. Um, but like I said, man, there just needs to be a green window. This point blank, there just needs to be a green window. I mean, you cannot have a, a game that's green or miss and have zero green window. That, that that's unacceptable. Like I said, man. Um, let me go to the. Let me go. Let me type in on YouTube. Let me type in on Twitter. NBA to get twenty five shit. Let me see what people are saying. I'm just curious, bro. And I already I already have a feeling what they're saying, but I just want to see. Look, he's he's having another space right now. To where he says NBA to get twenty five. How you liking it, right? I'm gonna go ahead and say my opinion. Um, the game's only good when you play with somebody that you know with. You're playing solo, you're not going to enjoy the game. So that's anybody out there, they're like, man, I ain't going to lie. You know, this is like it could be a – no. Okay? If you have folks that you know in person, okay, or people that you are just cool with and they hoop or they, you know, you got chemistry with them, okay, that's that's fine. But if you ain't got nobody to play with you out there by yourself, uh, I would not consider this product. Like I said numerous times, bro. Um, Look, uh, shooting needs a buff. No. Shooting needs a green window, okay? It needs a green window, okay? And I think y'all can see in these highlights with Cody, I went from, I think the meter was off, right? Because, again, you guys saw, in the, like, what, the first couple of clips, the meter was on, and I think now, like, the meter was going to be off. Um, But, yeah, man, you know, there needs to be a green window. Just, that's all it is to it, right? Um, there needs to be a green window. Oh, so I'm going to say this, by the way, too. I saw somebody put a comment um, when I was doing the video about the uh, the, the center showing their interior defense, things like that, right? So the guy who said, let me go back to this reply he put in the comments. And again, there's no issue with, you know, his opinion. But I just don't. This to me is why if I'm not playing center and I'm going to build like how Cody's build is, this is why the centers I get paired on my team, they be getting destroyed. Because it's your mindset. Let's ask ourselves this, bro. If you have a driving layup on a seven-foot center, right, First of all, let's talk about that. Name me one center in today's NBA that's going to be doing driving layups, right? Oh, Wemby does it, and Wemby's a generational talent, okay? You don't see Wemby every single day, okay? You're not going to find that. Yeah, it's a video game. You can't really put ball handling on. If you put ball handling on a center in this game, you're really going to be weak at something that you need, whether it's interior, rebounding, or strength, right? So that's what I'm saying. So what are you saying driving layup? It's going to be an issue. Now, if we didn't have, if we had like a 50 close shot and a 30 driving, okay, I can see that. But we have an 85 close shot with a 90 standing dunk with a 96 vertical. 
I'm pretty sure I'll be fine, bro. See what I'm saying? This is not my first time playing the center position, bro. It's like what my third time doing it. Fun fact, I used to I used to be one of those centers to where you just want to shoot the ball, right? And then when you realize it's more than just shooting the ball at center, bro, you have to actually do the job that you're, you know, you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to just be some elite shooter, bro, right? But Jay, how come how come it was like that last year? Because they made shooting too easy last year. They buffed it. Like if people kept begging because people didn't want to find ways to adjust, right? And they it broke the game, right? But so the guy who said, well, let me just go back. Let me go ahead and read it too. I'm gonna want to show you what he said, bro. Because it was I was laughing at this comment. I really was. Um, let me go back to this comment. Um, so I appreciate sure for the love and support and the likes. So he says, I can assure you that this build won't be as good as you think. That low driving layup will haunt you. Driving layup on a seven footer, bro. Driving layup. That's that's what you're concerned about. Driving layup. Now, if they didn't have close shot in the game, I can see that standpoint. Close shot is still in the game. I got an 85 close shot. Then we got a 90 standing dunk. And we're worried about a driving layup. It's, you know what this reminds me of? Where somebody said, somebody told me last year, but you don't have no driving dunk on your big man. Why do I need driving dunk on a seven footer? I'm not a slasher. I'm a seven footer. And don't put in the comments, oh, Bam out of bio. Bam out of bio is not no center, bro. Okay? He is not a center. Well, Jay, just because he plays center for the Miami because they have no other option, right? That doesn't mean he's a natural center. I got another good example for you. Drew Holiday, right? Guess what, ladies and gentlemen? If you know basketball, you will know Drew Holiday is a natural shooting guard. He is not a point guard, bro. Can he play the one? Yes, he can. But is that his natural position? No, it's really, you can look it up. It's really the shooting guard. I didn't even know that, by the way, too. I used to think that Drew Holiday used to be a natural point guard. He's a two guard. He just can play the one. He just can play the one at a high level, right? So when you look at it like that from Bam out of bow standpoint, like I said, you look at Miami when they lost to the Denver Nuggets. I saw tons of fans kept saying that, oh, we need a new center because Bam out of bow, he's too small. Jokic destroyed Bam out of bio in the finals. Yeah, you're good. But as I was saying, because you're going to have people telling me that Bam out of bio, is a, he's a center when he's not. Pull up those comments when Miami had to face Denver in the finals, they will they'll go to the comments, they'll say, we need, a, we need a true center. Bam is too small, right? And it's no knock to Bam, bro. Bam's a one, he's a you know phenomenal player. You know what? Multi-time all-star now. Um, you know, he's got his money, he's got signed to with a max deal, but he's not a true center, okay? Just like how people can say Giannis, because he's seven foot. Giannis is a Giannis ain't no center. Giannis is still a small forward and a power forward. He can play small forward and power forward, bro, right? But we got to understand that. I feel like I'm covering everything that I need to cover, though. Um, when is the next video? I don't know. We're going to have to find out. I'm probably going to talk about Proving Grounds my next video because people kept asking me about that. Um, but overall, I just feel like, um, you know, the game and the aspect of things, the, the game and aspects of things, you know, it just needs to be a green window, y'all. Right? By the way, I don't know if we're going to start that podcast. It's supposed to be me, T, Black. Uh, potentially paid a mod city want to be a part of it we're gonna be starting it very soon the podcast can be about just anything in general we're gonna talk about gaming sports all of that because a lot of y'all be telling me like i you know i have a good mindset and you know a lot of y'all be watching y'all think I, y'all think i don't know what y'all be doing y'all be playing whether it's park or the wreck and y'all have J Mid video in the background listen to what i'm saying Oh, Jamie, drop a video. Yeah, I'm about to go in the wreck and i'm about to play his video in the background so i'm gonna hear what he had to say i know what y'all be doing dog how do I know that I used to do the same thing when I wasn't a content creator? I would, certain people I would watch, you only got to comment. The ones, I know people that watch, they don't even comment. They do that all the time. They don't even comment yet. They're going to put my video in the background while they play in the record of part or my career and just hear what I had to say. And they're going to go to the next one that I post and the next one that I post because I'm that I'm that guy. You see what I'm saying? I'm, I'm that person. I'm Jay Mid, bro. You see what I'm saying? To where you're going to watch whether you like me or not. You see what I'm saying? Um, but like I said, man, it just needs to be. It just needs to be a more con, a green window. Um, yes, do I feel like the shooting is inconsistent? But why is it inconsistent? Because of the green window problem. When you when you have a small green window, okay, 
on a green or miss game, you tell me how that's going to make the game look. It's not going to give it a, a decent sign of things. You see what I'm saying? It's going to make to where, like, okay, what am I doing wrong? And what's funny is this. I didn't see until you be like, oh, I'm about to go back in that building because my build can't shoot, right? That's what y'all be doing. And that's what 2K wants. They want y'all to think, yeah, baby, he going to miss all these shots. He's going to go back and build a spend more money. No. See what I'm saying? Don't do that, right? What you need to do is be patient. Um, just you probably as of right now, you probably not going. It, there's as of right now, there's probably no green window like it's being like was being said. So, just be patient and do what you can do, right? But don't. Oh, I'm about to go make me another build because you now wasting more money. And on that new build, you may you still gonna be missing because guess what? There's no green window in the shooting right now, bro. So until there's a green window, then you can have your answer, right? Um, but y'all been seeing, you know, I've still been shooting the ball with Cody and things like that. Um, things like that. And if y'all can tell, um, Cody, he's more, you know, bigger now. Last year, he was a little bit more slim. Now he's been in the weight room. You know, he's more, you know, muscle-wise now, right? But, yeah, I just said that to make it interesting. But look, man, y'all see Cody Green. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like you, you, you can't hit any shots. It's just not consistent. Like, it should be more than one time to where you should be able to hit a shot. You see what I'm saying? It's just, that's just how it should be. You should be able to be consistent, especially, like I said, if you're shooting a really decent percentage from the three-point line, okay? And uh, by the way, I had another comment. Somebody asked me about the mid-range shots on this game. How does it feel? Um, it's just, I'm not going to say it's the same as a three-point, because it's obviously not because of the timings. But a mid-range shot on this game right here definitely makes it seem like you got to, like, be patient. You can't just rush and fade like how you were able to do last. You got to be patient, right? But y'all see, like I said, the more you play, the more you know comfortable you get with your build and your play style, right? Um, and y'all know Cody is a combo guard, okay? Yeah, the, the next video we'll definitely be talking about proving grounds because it needs to be talked about. Um, because I, I really what I, I've been saying before when I seen that they put up proving grounds in the game, I had the same thoughts and mindset of you know what I think it was gonna be. Um, same thing. That's what I'm saying. I don't really even be playing a rec like that no more. I really be playing proving grounds. I'm just showing y'all the, you know, from where Cody was missing. He was shooting zero percent for the three point lines where he had 19 or 17 points, hitting three or four threes. You know, it's things like that. I just want to show because a lot of people, and I'm not calling nobody out. A lot of people just show you when they had good performances. I'm going to show you when I had zero, when I was shooting 20%. You so know, I'm going to show you everything when Cody was struggling with the shooting in general. I'm going to show you that, okay? I'm going to be real and show you when he wasn't having his best games, right? And you're going to ask me, well, Jay Mid, you know, for you to only be out, because right now Cody averaging what, 11 points per game right now? You know, and for me right now, I mean, for, for Cody, it's only average, only 11 points shooting, what, 52% from three point line in the rec. That, that's really solid to me because these randoms are still kind of really, you know, iffy. Um, yeah, to where, like, you know, you really – you don't go in a game of random rec and expect the ball. You just go in and try and find ways to win because most likely you're probably not going to get the ball. And like I said, for Cody being an 87 overall, you got a lot of these guys, you know, thinking that he don't know what he's doing, right? You got a lot of these guys thinking, I don't know how to use uh, Cody's play style or things like that to where I showed y'all in the video I just dropped that Cody be outperforming these 95 and 96 overall players, bro. You see what I'm saying? He be outplaying them. So it has nothing to do with overall, right? It's just you got to know how to use your build. But like I said, man, we really covering, what, mostly almost everything. I'm about shooting. I mean, we talked about there's really no green window. We talked about how I feel. I most definitely feel like Zins will be back in NBA 2K25. If you, if you honestly think in the year 2025 that people are not going to cheat or find a way to cheat, you are smoking meth, crack, okay? Whatever drug you can think of is what you are smoking. If you think these guys are not going to find ways to cheat, bro, okay, they're going to do it. Like I said, whether if the game was easy to play or whether the game was hard to play. Well, 2K has to understand, like I said, I'm going to say this again. You cannot punish everybody because you got a couple of people who just want to cheat the system, bro. Other than that, um, well, we really got how much time we got left. We got about, what, 20 minutes for this video ends. I'm going to just read the rest of the comments, bro, um, and see what we're talking about. But matter of fact, we can just play. Um, I'm gonna play this out loud. I'm gonna play because Jai's hosting this. He's hosting this space about um, NBA Ticket 25 and saying how people are liking it. 
So I'm gonna set you up what they had to say. Other than that, I really feel like I covered everything about it. Again, this is this this Twitter space is hosted by uh Jaya Bridgeworth. I make sure I give him a follow on Twitter. Um he already here, then hit your boy back with a follow. So you know, shout out to him. He doing his thing. He's the Woj of the Twitter community on Twitter, by the way. AKA X, yes. Okay. Um, I'm gonna play this out a lot of so y'all can hear what's going on. And yeah, man. I'm gonna catch y'all later on. We're gonna talk about previous guys next video, and I'm out. Hold on, because they having issues. Matter of fact, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play the um one from yesterday that I didn't get to see. I'm gonna go to the one that I wasn't able to be a part of yesterday. I'm gonna let you hear what they had to say. Okay, it's only right that we do that. I'm gonna tell you who was the host of that one because I'm again I'm just giving everybody their credit. I ain't trying to steal nothing. I'm just giving everybody their credit. Um, I just want you to hear what the community had to say because they said Mike Wang was a part of this when he was listening. So if Mike Wang was listening, then people had to must be saying things about the shooting, bro. Um, so let me see if I can find it real quick. Okay, here we go. So this one was hosted by Crispy Thrifty Crispy. His is his Twitter. Um, his Twitch is Shifty Crispy. I make sure I show love and support to his Twitter, things like that, and his uh Twitch shot this uh, platforms, things like that. I'm gonna let you hear what his Twitter space is talking about. Other than that, I'm like I said, I'm gonna see y'all in a minute. Man. I'm gonna catch you later. Hold on. I don't believe they're going to do that. If we're just going off what 2K has done, 22 was a really fast game. They made it slower in 23. Locke still couldn't get a stop. They made it slower in 24. Locke still couldn't get a stop. They made it slower now in 25. I don't believe they're going to make anything fast in this game. Why would I? It's been four years. They made the game slower every year. <laughs> I'm not going to believe them. They, like, what? They're going to do something, bro. And they not finna, man, they not finna do shit, bro. I'm gonna be honest with you, bro, because I all these content creators are talking about, oh, the right stick shit is fire, man. Of course you're playing. That's what I go back to what I'm saying. You're playing hot dog lover 750 in the park, bro. Of course. But if you come to the stage and you play mm -hmm. brain, you're fucking crunched. There's nothing you can do. Yeah. That's, that's the only that's the only point yeah, I'm I, trying to make, bro. I just I, I just I just want it's hard to find balance, man, because over the years we've we've kind of dabbled into this this realm of like you know comp and, and and casual, and you know why people bring up oh bring back the old times because back in you know nostalgia people say back in those times it was a lot peaceful. I seen a YouTuber say I can't get a swarm of people anymore. What happened to that? I'm gonna tell you what happened to it. This comp mindset. Everybody cares about their one percentage. Back in the day, I remember before I became just a two K. When I was playing football in college, I wasn't playing 2K like that. I just got on it on the weekends when I, you know, if we had a problem yeah, and I didn't play it, I just got on the park. I didn't care who I played with, what my win percentage was. And once I was done, I was done. Now, yeah, we, live an era, yeah, now we live in an era where yeah. they don't want to swarm you anymore because Joe knows you're good at the game. Yeah. And these dudes know that if they got a 21 percentage because they're playing you back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back games, nobody else in the park is going to want to play with them. When it's you're like, uh, on the game, you see what I mean? It's like the mindset of like, um, the guy that gets, gets tired of getting bullied, you know, like everybody just, you know, call him a nerd or some shit, and like he just stick up for himself, like, all right, you know what? Fuck this shit. Like I'm going just, they don't really try, and like you know what I'm saying? Like it's kind of that mindset where it's like people just tired of people calling them ass and such shit like that, so now they want to just be good, you know? Yeah, and, and it's the thing, and that. And just it stripped the peace away from the game, the fun. And it was always comp. Even back then, there was really good players in the park. You know, before there was Pearl Ham, there was really good players in the park. You know, there's really good players in the red. But now, everyone is like, they want to be comp, you know. And I think... It's funny, every, it's funny, every move. Yeah. Like, every move. Like, the job was trying like, to get, like, developing, like, more sweaty. I guess because people are, like... A lot, of, a lot of good players are starting to realize certain modes you can shoot better in. So they're going to those modes that they can shoot better consistently in. You know what I'm well, saying? I think, like, I, think, I think it came from, like, from my point, because I don't want to touch on it too long, because I don't want to go back and forth like the casual company. Can I, I say one thing, Kevin, before you, because I'm about to leave? Yeah, yeah, go ahead, bro. Go yeah, ahead and say your piece right out. Hey, I'm still good at this game. I just want to make everybody know, because the people that think they're complaining, they're going to go into it and be like, oh, we didn't adjust to the game. Oh, we didn't do I'm good at the game. I still go play stage. I still win it. The point is, this shit is purgatory. Hey, everybody keep y'all fucking heads up. I don't know why. We're fucking doing it. Uh, anyways, Kevin, you go back to your shit, man. Hey, I know. You good. We're fucking doing
They're trying to they're trying to surround this game by rhythm shooting, bro. Because that's the only that's the only thing that's shooting that's consistent on this yeah. game. Yeah, I, I think this is what they're trying to do. I think this is what they want to do. I think they are wanting to implement something new. And I mean that's that's it's just the, the route we're going down. I mean, it was a rhythm yeah. way of shooting back in the day. We're shooting with square, bro, and I went the rhythm shooting, bro. That's literally the only because I'm shooting contested, very tight shots of a street rhythm shooting, bro. I mean, I mean, to be fair, to be fair, catch 22, they said it was going to be that way. That you yeah, would they be did. Significantly boost your shot yeah. percentage if you, use, uh, if you use the right stick. Now, granted, my question is then to you guys, since this has become a whole conversation, does that actually create a skill gap? Yeah, it does. That, that, that's my that's my question. Does it actually create a skill gap, or is it? Like it does. It creates a big skill gap because people cannot shoot with they stick because you shoot like they usually used to stopping and shooting with the square button. But now you can, you can really drill. So is that a good thing? Or that, that? That think about it, that's right? The I'm question, thinking, that's the question. I mean, I like because when people don't understand how to do something that other people can, they like they'll be like they'll be ridiculed for 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 being good at something. You know what I'm saying? Like, here's my thing. Here's my thing. It's it's a good thing, but you should force people. Like if a, if a guy wants to if use it square, it creates a skill gap though. Yeah, yeah, yeah I understand it that. Creates a skill gap. Like you the green window, square, anybody could do that. You yeah. can prove that. I, I understand yeah. that, but the green window should be there still for square. It shouldn't be like yeah. green too. No, it's there. It's there. Still gap if you use square. It'll still be a skill gap for that too. Is it? Like, no, it's 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 no, no, let, me, let me let me finish my thought. Is it is it really creating a skill gap if the green window is just as big on the right stick as it is on the on the, on the button? Mm. Have, is, is, it, is it really really still a skill gap if you have if the green window is just as big? If the green window is significantly smaller on the right, I'm on the from hitting a button but, compared to using the right stick, and out of every single shot, finding the time in, in the rhythm shooting is much bigger. What actually takes more skill? The rhythm shooting. Okay, so then my my question is, and again, I'm not. I want. I'm just playing of understanding of what actually creates a skill gap, and if that's supposed to be in the game. Trust me, I. Me shooting with square is only gonna make it better. Y'all would never be able to get me in period. I just wanna let them let y'all know. Yeah, no, but like the, the point I was trying to make was if I know my shot was square, I still should be able to hit it now. Even on even on two K twenty four. Yeah, some games I shot 100%. Some games I went in and shot 50. When I was playing pro-am, but it contested. People play great defense. I was shooting 55, 60%. You know, some games 45%. And obviously, if they had like a rhythm shooting type of thing in 24, I may have shot shot even even better. I'm not saying that the yes, the rhythm shooting should be more skill based, and it you obviously should have a big green window. But I'm saying is, I don't like the RNG with square, and it's like, hey, it's RNG with square, but if you don't want that RNG, use rhythm shooting. Come Man, on, eh? I can't, no, but I'll, I'll be honest with you, they took out like certain badges and certain shit. Like green machine is gone, so if you a person that green, green machine is still there. Real quick with Green Machine, and that's a whole different conversation we got to get into when you guys are ready. I hope you guys finish this up, but Green Machine is in 2KU. We can all read it. It's all there for us to see, but is it really working in Proving Grounds and Pro-Am is the question. That's what I'm saying. Because that is the question. I, that, yeah, I'm yeah. sure, but in proving grounds and pro am high competitive modes, have we proven yet that Green Machine is actually active and working functionally? No, nah, I don't see that. Because I've I've, had, I've so, been in program since like all I play is pro am and rec. I don't play other modes for real. Park one on ones. All that shit is bullshit to me, and people complain about it is bullshit to me. But the same. Uh, when I'm playing pro and I hit back to back threes, I'm a high. So and I got a 94 three. So if I'm hitting back to back threes three times, four, like I should get like a boost in that. Like that that that, yeah. that, uh, that green machine that that you could see the significant boost. You could damn near feel it. It don't feel like it's there for real now when I play reg and pro yeah. and I'm. Back it should to back be because green. of yeah, um, your takeover meter heating up and like that, your, uh, your stats right? increase each time that bar moves up. I, I noticed that. Here's all I'm gonna say, and I'm gonna let you guys go crazy because at first. Yesterday, I was I was going crazy myself, like seeing um Hank the Tank say, 
what he said yesterday about, oh, you can't go four for four slash five for five on pro am. I'm proving ground slash pro am. And I was like, well, yeah, you can, bro. I think people go five for five, six for six. And I was like, wait a minute. But they also shot close shots in between there. So I hopped on last night, yesterday, on a tired ass last night, bro, from 11 p.m. to fucking 2 a.m. proving grounds. And all I ran was one. And this is my testing. You guys can do it yourself whenever you have free time, whatever you do. Do it on an account or build that you don't care about your ones record. One on ones, shot only three pointers with randoms on ones proving grounds, and I and then I made a gentleman's agreement with them. Yo, I'll give you guys this game if you want. Just shoot threes with me. Let's see if anyone can hit four for four and five for five from three. No middies, nothing else. For two hour, sorry, eleven a.m. to two a.m. That's a three hour time span. Not a single person, ranged from eighty five three pointer and above, hit five for five from three pointer and proving ground one. Let's see if anyone can hit four for four and five for five from three. No middies, nothing else. For two hour, sorry, 11 a.m. to 2 a.m., that's a three hour time span. Not a single person ranged from 85 three pointer and above hit five for five from three pointer, improving round ones. Wide open shots every single time. Rhythm shooting or button. That's all I want to tell you guys. Rhythm shooting or button, no one I've seen go five for five on footage. Improving round ones, because it's like there's no dimer. Of course, someone can go five for five, like in a park game or even in like potentially twos and threes because you got yeah. dimer, Hall of Fame dimer, gold dimer, like catch and shoots are obviously easier. But when you're talking strictly just off the dribble standing shot, like, yeah, that's the biggest issue with the game. That affects PGs and threes and twos because they're dribbling, they stop and shoot. It's the same thing as playing ones basically. But of course, like the poppers or the sharps, like I saw like um, Chalk posted something like he's a he's a sharp. So like it makes sense, like why a sharp would have would be able to go like eight for nine or eight for ten. But when we're talking just, you know, strictly, like, you, know dark, not, you know, Chalk that's like the problem. Dribble, is like, right? That's a that don't use him as an example. He literally shoots off the dribble. No, I'm, I'm using Chalk yeah. as an example because when he plays pro him, he's the two guard. If he chooses 10 catch and shoot, if he chooses 10 threes in a game, he's not shooting 10 catch and shoots. Chalk is not shooting 10 catch and shoots. All I'm saying is, in pro am, naturally, as a hash, he's going to get some catch and shoot shots. Every shot. He's going to get some catch and shoots. He is not shooting 10 for 10. Yeah, only reason why I brought up his name is because. If you really that, name, you watch I've watched play him play, him, bro. and so, yeah, like of course he's gonna take shots that are off the dribble, but yes, all the force of his shots. Okay, so don't use that as an example. That's what, I, that's what that's what that's so, what we just said. What we just said some of them are off the dribble, some of them are catch and shoots. We're talking about the catch and shoots one, not the off the dribble one. Yeah, so when we're talking no dimer involved, like that's the problem. That's like, I think the problem that PGs are having is even if they use rhythm shooting. Mm -hmm. it, is it making is it making a difference for a PG that's dribbling? Not like poppers or people that are catch and shooting. Obviously, like we know, catch and shooting, like the rhythm shooting is better. Like it's clear night and day difference, like from everybody. But when you're talking to PG, like there's no point guards that have said like, oh, I'm using rhythm shooting and shooting fifty five percent. So what would you consider Tyson? I mean, he, he he fades, and a fade is a different timing than. But it doesn't. He doesn't even, even, even use. I no, watched, fading is easier this year. Fading is way much easier. Much easier with even use this rhythm fade. shooting. Fade, fade is way much easier this year. Yeah, but I was watching Tysino. Tysino made a tweet that he's using rhythm shooting, but then I went and watched his stream the next day, and he was only using rhythm shooting like maybe twenty five percent of the time. He wasn't really using it that much, which tells me that it, it's probably not that effective for off the dribble shots. Or he would use it. Like these are good players. I'm watching. I'm. I've been literally watching him use it in games, back to back, in the proving ground. But like but, off the dribble shots, or yes, like yes, yes, yes. He stepped back all of that. Than like a quick stop shot, you know. I mean, I'm. I, I was watching too. So I mean, I saw him use it about like uh, yeah, it's different for, different types of shots because. Like you yeah. said, a fade off the dribble, like runner, is is way different than a standstill shooting after you just finish dribbling. Are we dribbling. acting as if I don't know how to play the game? Like, I don't play pro-am consistently? Is that what we're doing? Like, I don't know the difference? Nah, is that what we're nah, doing? Nah. I, yeah. I, I do know the difference between a off the dribble, a quick stop, all of that. I do know the difference. I mean, we're not just explaining for you, Boomy. There's people in the 
Yeah, it's not. Yeah, we don't want to do that. I'm just making sure. I'm making sure. You get a nice job. Yo, me here to scrap something. Like, damn. Yo, I have the. I have my hand up for a while, man. I'm about to take over. Yeah, go, Mag. Go, Mag. I see you. What's, what's going on, my people? This is Coach Am in the building. I want to send peace and love to everybody listening in to the speakers as well before I get started. I got three points for y'all. First one is a quote from Marcus Aurelius. He says, confine yourself to the present. And that basically, in 2K terms, is you're playing in 2024 2k that's what's your plan and we're stuck in the past every conversation that i'm hearing from all of you most of the time is because you're stuck in the past we have been conditioned to think and feel things that we're expressing which are not wrong about what we think or feel so don't don't, don't mix my words before i finish but what you think and feel isn't always right it's just a thought and a feeling. So let's rewind the conversation. I'm going to make my point, by the way. But that, that's to start off just to kind of help people from what I'm seeing on the outside as somebody who lives in the moment and accepts the game that's in front of me without. All right, y'all, that's about it. If you want to hear the rest of this, let me know in the comment section. I'll probably post part two um, of it later on. Let me know how you feel with us in general. Let me know if you actually feel like the shooting – do you think it has a green window? Like, do you guys like it? Do you guys not like it? Like I told you, I feel like there just should be a green window in shooting, bro. And right now, you're not really seeing it. Just because you're seeing people hit shots doesn't mean there's an actual green window. It's very small if it is. But, you know, so, but that's just my take on it. Um, like I said, shout out to everybody. You know, everybody was in this way. Shout out to them. I wasn't able to be a part of it um, because I missed it. I was busy. Um, but, yeah, man, I'll try to be a part of the next one if I can. And I'm going to catch you later, man. I'm out. Peace. Next week, I'll be talking about Proving Grounds, and I'm out of here, man. Peace out.